In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for Na plus H2O. This is sodium metal plus water. So whenever we have an element by itself on one side of the equation, here we have sodium metal, and then on the other side, there's an element by itself. So we have just hydrogen here by itself. We're thinking single displacement reaction. So in this case, the sodium, it comes in and it pushes the hydrogen out. So now the hydrogen's by itself, the sodium, it's with the OH here from the water. So the sodium has displaced the hydrogen. What makes this a little confusing is it hasn't displaced all of the hydrogen. There's still a hydrogen here. We're going to consider this a single replacement, though, because we start with sodium by itself and we end up with the hydrogen by itself. We should check, though, to make sure that sodium is active enough to push the hydrogen out. So we could look at the activity series of the metals here. We could see sodium's near the top, very reactive. Hydrogen's down here. So sodium's more reactive than hydrogen, so it can push the hydrogen out. This reaction will happen. Let's take a look for a moment at this as a redox reaction, though, as well. So if I write in the oxidation states for each element, we can see sodium, this is a free element. It starts out with an oxidation state of zero, but then it goes to plus one. So it's lost electrons. It's been oxidized. The hydrogen here starts out with a plus one. That's each hydrogen. And that goes here to zero. H2 is considered a free element as well. So hydrogen has gained electrons. It's been reduced. So this definitely is a redox reaction as well as the single replacement reaction. And that's because electrons are exchanged in the reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Na plus H2O, sodium plus water. Rather explosive reaction. Thanks for watching.